Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Today, I'm going to be going over some MIDI effects inside a cakewalk that you probably have seen, but not sure really what they do. Let's figure it out. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description that you can download it for free. Simple Keyzone Classic. This is a free VST. If you want to download it, you can download it for free. This is kind of what it looks like. And I'm gonna do the Yamaha Grand. All right, so uh, this is more gonna be a MIDI kind of video so showing you how to use the MIDI effects in here. I'm going to add some MIDI onto the track and then kind of just go from there. All right. So as you can hear the piano on there, I'm just going to drag it onto the track itself and it's going to create that MIDI for the track. And what I can also do is bring up the piano roll at the bottom just so you can kind of see it. Alt and hit the number three on the keyboard. That'll bring up your piano roll uh, inside of Cakewalk. So here is the piano roll is what it looks like. And there are several ways to kind of add effects onto your track. You can go over here to the left hand side, you go to plugins, and then you want to click on this one that says insert MIDI effects. Cakewalk gives you so many different ways to add effects onto the tracks. So I'm going to show you all three ways in this video. So the first way would just to be to grab it and drag it um, onto the actual MIDI track. So if I grab this arpeggiator, I can drag it and drop it onto this track and it'll pop up and show me the screen of the the arpeggiator. You can close this out. You can go over here to where it says effects and click on effects and it'll show you what's in this MIDI uh, and set up on here. So I can close out of that or I can go over here to where you have this show hide clip properties. You can click on that and you want to go down here to where it says clip effects. And once you click on that, it will tell you everything that's in the clip effects. The same arpeggiator that's here would be the same one that's over here. If you didn't want to do that, any either one of those, you can split this channel or this track into a MIDI and an instrument. So if you right click on here and you go to split instrument track, it's going to create another uh, option for the MIDI and one for your instrument. So the MIDI is up here. So now if I wanted to, I can drag the arpeggiator and put it in here. This will affect anything that's actually on this track. So if you had different MIDI clips, it would affect those different MIDI clips as well. Uh, if you're dragging it straight onto the MIDI clip, it's only going to affect that one MIDI clip that you have it assigned to. All right, so I'm going to close out of this. I don't necessarily like putting it this way because um, I usually change my MIDI. And I'm going to just combine them back. So I'm going to hit Shift on here, right click. And I'm going to click on where it says Make Instrument Track. So it's going to combine those tracks with the MIDI and the actual instrument again. So if you didn't want to do uh, any of those ways, there's one more way that I know of to do it. You can go inside this piano roll here and seeing that everything is already highlighted, I can right click inside the piano roll and go to MIDI plugins, go to uncategorized, and it'll give you those same options that you have over there on the side. All right, now we're just going to kind of go through them and see what they actually do. So we are, we should be familiar with the arpeggiator. So I'm just going to grab and drop that in here and you should be able to hear how the ARP sounds. And you have uh, presets that they have set up in here already. So you can use the a pulse, the bouncing, uh, comp ARP. Um, I think the stabby is usually pretty good. And you can actually even see what chords is actually being played if you hit on this option for the chords. It should tell you what actual chords is being played. So you have your rate here, so you could change it. You have your notes, or you can do MIDI ticks or milliseconds. You can do up and down, and you can have it even play through. So play through will actually like it'll play those keys, the notes, and still do the ARP at the same time. So that would be how you would do the arpeggiator, uh, by just by dragging and dropping it on there. And you'll be able to see the clip effect if you click on the clip. So you should see the clip effects in here. So we have the arpeggiators on here. I'm going to take one of them off and delete. All right, uh, we're going to go to chord and out analysis. So I'm just going to drop it in this uh, clip effects option here. So this will tell you 
what chords are actually being played. So if you want to know uh, what the chords are, you could do that. So I'm just kind of stretch this out a little bit. And I'm going to click on the two where this separates the, the chord. I'm going to hit play. And you'll see that it's trying to tell you all the things that it's changed to because we have the ARP on. So I'm going to turn the ARP off. And it's telling you all the chords that is actually being played. Uh, this is really good if you have a MIDI that you just do in here, you want to know what chords you're actually playing. This would be the, the best way to do that. All right, let's move along. This uh, CS Humanizer is not does not come with Cakewalk. I actually downloaded this. Someone from uh, the Cakewalk community actually created this and they have it on their website and it was for free. So I'm not sure if it's still free, but I'm gonna try to leave the link below in the description if you guys really are interested in this. But um, he gave it so you can humanize your notes. So you can do like turn your notes on and over here you can say how much you want to uh, like strum the notes. Um, you can have your note velocity go up and down on here as well. So, so it'll give it all of them different start times and different velocities whenever you're humanizing in here and you can change it to, you know, the, the notes that are actually off, you can have them do different velocities and changes as well. All right, I'm gonna move along. The next one is gonna be the echo delay. I think this one is really cool. So you can get a uh, delay on each one of the parameters inside of the MIDI. All right, so I'm gonna put on the delay so you can kind of hear it. I think the, uh, the presets are pretty good. So I'm gonna do it for the eighth notes. So the delay is really cool. So this echo feature that they actually have in here is really, really great for giving the beats a nice bounce to it, basically. Um, so you can actually change these. You can change the swing on them. Uh, you can even change the pitch to make it do it a different pitch as, as well. Um, you have a little like uh, X, Y kind of access. So you can do more echoes. So right now it's set on six and you can move this around and kind of change things the way you want to, which I think is really cool. So um, yeah, definitely experiment with that, test it out. And we're gonna move along. Um, this MIDI event filter, this is basically the same as coming down here inside of the piano roll and hitting this plus sign. So this is the same as this. Notes for like your velocity and your duration, it would be however long the notes are. So you can change it to make sure every note is really short, regardless if it's shown and played out like it is right here. Um, you have your wheel. This is the same wheel that's down here. Your channel alts are right here as well. So it's the same. Basically, you could hit on one of the boxes, and this will enable that actual feature. You can have it for your keyboard to have it set up to change that. Uh, and you can just you know change your amount wherever you want to. But this is more coincide, like I said, with the actual piano roll uh, MIDI events. So this is basically the same. All right, so let's move along. And the next one would be Quantize. And uh, hopefully you guys know what Quantize is. You can use it for your uh, start times, your duration. You have your note values here, whatever notes you want to uh, click to. You also have a, a timing down here. So you have a 4-4 timing or you can do you can change that as well in this uh, quantize option. Uh, this is your strength and the swing of the actual quantize. And you can even offset some of the notes and you can enable it right here to enable the quantize. All right, so quantize is kind of self-explanatory. It will be the same as just doing like, uh, you know, the cue on the keyboard to bring up the quantize. It's pretty much the same exact uh, setting but they do it uh, straight from the MIDI effects, All right? And transpose, this is a fun one. Um, the transpose will allow you to actually move the keys uh, even to different scales if you want to. 
So if you have, um, so I'm gonna leave this on here. And let's say I wanted to move it uh, up by two semitones. So you can change it that way. Um, you can do uh, type diatonic uh, scales as well. And you can also even do just keys and scales. So you can make it go from a certain scale to a different scale. Um, and you have a whole bunch of different uh, options to make those to whatever kind of notes or keys you want. And I'll actually be showing you in the piano roll how it actually looks when you change everything. And a custom app is basically you just setting up whatever you want inside here. Uh, but yeah, so that would be the uh, transpose option. And this one is the velocity. So you can change the velocity of the notes and you can have it on, you know, a random for like a hi-hat. Uh, you have an option for 64 and 127. So basically you have of the volume if you wanted to do that. And you usually want to do like a randomize and it's going to ask you how much or the amount you want it to be randomized. So you can kind of set your randomization um, to however you want. All right. And, and in order to actually even use any of these, so let's say I wanted to keep the echo and I wanted to keep the velocity and, and let's transpose it up. Right. So I'm going to transpose it and I'm going to do the intervals. And let's change it and go up by, let's leave it up by two. So this is what it sounds like with all those things changed. And if I wanted to commit to that, I can do a bounce to clips. I can do a right click on here and then do bounce the clips, which is my control B. And as you see, it converted all those into what we were actually seeing and doing, or hearing, I should say. You can actually see it now inside of the piano roll. All right, I'm gonna control Z to stop doing that. I'm gonna close out of that. Hey, if you're enjoying this video right now, definitely leave a like, and make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel so you'll let you know when I drop another video. But let's get back to this video. All right, so now what I wanna do is take you inside the piano roll so you can see everything actually happening almost like in real time. So I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna hit Shift and D on the keyboard to bring up the whole piano roll so you'll be able to see it. So now that everything is actually highlighted in here, we can right click anywhere inside this piano roll and we're gonna go into MIDI plugins. Once you're in MIDI plugins, go to Uncategorize and we can do the arpeggiator and it'll bring up the arpeggiator itself. Once we audition, we'll be able to see exactly what is changing. So I'm hit audition. And as you see, it's showing me all the keys that is actually being played and the velocities that have been changed in it as well. So you can do a, uh, let's do a notes. Let's go up and down and let's do or one fourth. Right, so it's showing me exactly what it's gonna do uh, this way. So if you wanted to see exactly what you're doing to make these changes, you should do it this way inside the piano roll so you'll be able to see that. Uh, and it works for all of the ones that are in there, so I'm gonna try another one. So I'm gonna do the human eyes. Let's turn on these notes. Let's drag this up. And let's do the velocity. And as you see, the velocities down here are different now. And it's kind of strumming some of them. They give it more of that humanized feel. And that's kind of what you want to go for. All right? So that is another option that you can actually do. Just cancel that. I'm gonna do the echo delay, which is one of my favorite ones to do. Let's do the one fourth note. I 
I think that's really cool that they actually have that in there. And, and all you gotta do to commit to it is just hit OK, and it'll actually add it onto the track. If I hit OK, as you see, now it's on the track. I'm gonna hit Control Z to bring, take it away. And the MIDI event filter is, like I said before, more like uh, just changing the stuff inside of the piano roll. The quantize, you know what quantize is. You can just use the quantize. So I'm gonna go to transpose. So you can actually see that in action as well. So let's change this and bring this up like two octaves and I'll hit audition. And this gives you an option to change any of those chords uh, real simple. Like I said, just hit OK on there and it'll actually accept whatever changes you made. I'm just going to hit cancel on there. Well, I hope you guys actually got something out of this video. I really do appreciate you for stopping by and watching this video. If you want to learn more about the actual piano roll in Cakewalk, I have this video right here. And this video will show you exactly how to use the piano roll. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.